In other online training videos, you can learn how to use the dimension tools and about the default settings that control how those dimensions will generate in your plan and elevation views. In this video, we'll explore the automatic interior dimension tools and the default settings that control them. Let's take a look at two different saved dimension defaults and review how the default settings control what the dimensions will look like in your plan view. If you go up to the Edit drop-down menu and down to Default Settings, you can find all of the defaults for all of the tools in Chief. Or, if you look in the toolbar, you will find this same white wrench icon in your toolbar for easier access. Click on the Default Settings button and go down to Dimensions. In this plan, I have several saved dimension defaults. Here I have the NKBA dimension defaults and the 1 half inch scale dimension defaults. If I set the 1 half inch scale dimension defaults as active, then create a dimension line, we can see how those defaults will affect how the dimensions will look. The text in these defaults is set for a simple aerial font. The arrowhead is a filled small arrowhead. The format of the text is set for feet and inches, and the layer that the dimension line is set on is the dimension manual layer, which is blue. Now let's move these out of the way and set the NKBA dimension defaults as active, and again create another dimension line. You can see the difference. The NKBA dimension defaults are using the chief blueprint font and architectural tick for the arrowhead. The format is set for inches, and the layer being used is the Dimensions NKBA layer, which is red. There are many other settings in the Dimension Defaults. If you go to the Default Settings, and then go to Dimensions, then double-click here on Dimensions, you can see all of the saved Dimension Defaults. With the NKBA Dimension Default selected, I'll click on Edit, and you can see all of the settings that determine how the dimensions will look when the NKBA dimension defaults are active, including the line separation, the format, which objects will be located by the dimension lines, and where each one of these objects will be located. For instance, the windows will be located and the extension lines will go to the outside of the window casings. You have the option to determine how the extensions will look. This is set so that the extension is a length towards the marked object from the dimension line. The dimension defaults also affect the layer that the dimensions will be placed on. In this case, the NKBA dimension defaults will be set on the dimensions NKBA layer. You can also choose an arrow style, the arrow color, the size, and of course the text style. I'll go ahead and delete both of these dimension lines and then we'll take a look at some of the automatic dimensions. In the plan view, there are two ways to create dimensions. I'll zoom out here to fill the window with the building only. We'll go to the automatic dimension tools. Here in the toolbar you have two options. You have the auto exterior dimensions, which is covered in another online training video, and you have the NKBA dimensions. This is an automatic interior dimension tool. If you use this tool, it will dimension all rooms that are assigned either the kitchen room type or the bath room type, but only on this floor level. If I go up to my second floor, you'll notice that I have a bathroom here, but no dimensions were generated. I'll go ahead and click Undo to remove these dimensions. The second way to create automatic interior dimensions in your plan view is to select a specific room. Then, in your Edit Toolbar at the bottom, you have two different options for automatic dimensions. You have your NKBA Auto Dimensions and the Automatic Interior Dimensions. If I click the Auto Interior Dimensions, you can see that the dimensions are generated inside of the room and they're placed on the Dimensions Automatic layer. If I select the room again and click on the NKBA Dimensions tool, these dimensions are generated outside of the room and they are placed on a layer I've created called Dimensions in KBA. 
However, you'll notice that both of these are using the formatting from the NKBA dimension defaults. They are formatted in inches and using the architectural tick for the arrow. Note also that the auto interior dimensions are locating the door at the sides of the door where the NKBA dimensions is locating the door at the casing of the door. That's because the NKBA dimension defaults are active as indicated here in the Active Dimension Defaults control button. But why would there be any difference between them? There are two different default settings at work here. The Active Dimension Defaults determine all of the characteristics of the dimensions to start with, but the Automatic Dimension Tools have a subset of those same defaults that override some of the Active Dimension Defaults. Let's take a look. Under Default Settings, we have already reviewed the available Active Dimension Default Settings, but let's open up the defaults for the Auto Interior Dimensions tool. These defaults will override the Active Dimension Defaults, but only for two characteristics, the object that will be located and the layer that the dimensions will be placed on. If I open the defaults for the NKBA Auto Dimensions tool, you can see that this one only overrides one characteristic the layer that the dimension lines will be placed on. All of the other features of the dimensions will follow whatever dimension defaults are currently active. I'll delete these dimensions and then let's take a look at the automatic elevation dimension tools. I'll double click here on this camera icon to open the interior elevation that I've already created. Under the CAD drop down menu you will find the automatic dimension tools parent tool and here you'll see the Auto Elevation Dimensions tool and the NKBA Elevation Dimensions tool. You will also find those tools in the toolbar here under the Automatic Dimension Tools Parent tool. Just like dimensioning in the plan, these two tools will follow the defaults set up in the Active Dimension defaults, but depending on which tool you use, some of these defaults will be overridden. If we go to the Default Settings tool, you will see that there are defaults specifically for the Auto Elevation Dimensions tool and the NKBA Elevation Dimensions tool. In the NKBA Elevation Dimensions, this will override the CAD objects to be located and the layer that the dimension lines will be placed on. In the Auto Elevation Dimension tool's default, you can control where the dimension lines will be placed. Here, we'll place the dimension lines on the right side and across the bottom. This tool will also control the objects to be located and where they will be located by the dimensions. We'll set the 1 half inch scale dimension defaults as active and then use the Auto Elevation Dimensions tool. Per the tool defaults, the dimensions are placed on the right side and at the bottom and placed on the dimensions automatic layer. And per active dimension defaults, they have the aerial font, the closed arrowhead, and are formatted for feet and inches. I'll click Undo, and then we'll set the NKBA Dimension Defaults as active, and use the NKBA Auto Elevation Dimensions tool. Now, per the tool defaults, the dimensions are placed on the Dimensions NKBA layer. They are placed on both sides, top and bottom. And per the active dimension defaults, they are using the Chief Blueprint font, the architectural tick, and are formatted for inches only. So, when using the automatic dimension tools, remember that there are two sets of defaults that determine what your dimensions will look like. First, the active dimension defaults, and then the automatic dimension tool defaults that will override a few of the dimensions characteristics.